uh, Dr. Kapitan and Ramesh from Channel News Asia. Uh, Dr. Tan, you, uh, you spoke of uh, the President being a President for all Singaporeans. Uh, quite a sizable number have voted for the other candidates. How do you hope to win over their hearts in, in the next six years? Well, I said uh, during my campaign, I'm reaching out to all Singaporeans, not only those who support me, but those who have supported other candidates. The President must work for all citizens, irregardless of how they vote. The President must be above politics. Uh, he cannot identify himself with any one party. Uh, <clears throat> I think that all of us have a common destiny in Singapore, uh, whether you belong, whatever party you belong to, whether you vote for me or did not vote uh, for me, I will continue to work for all of you. And I think in uh, this way, in the coming years, I will work to try and unify Singaporeans, heal some of the divisions which exist now and uh, emphasize the need for unity and a common uh, purpose. In this way, I'm confident that uh, we will be able to uh, <coughs> share a common purpose, which is what will benefit Singapore and Singaporeans. Yes. Congratulations first on your electoral Thank you. Yep. Uh, one of uh, Dr. Tan Ching Dok's regular cries during the campaign was think Singaporeans first. Now, how much do you believe in that, or how much do you agree with that? And what can Singaporeans expect from you in this regard as our new elected president? Well, we must always uh, think Singaporeans first. Uh, Singaporeans must be at the heart of everything which uh, we do, uh, whatever initiatives the government does, you must put the interests of Singaporeans first. This is true, where, whether it's in higher education or in, uh, or in work or in our welfare policies. Having said that, of course, uh, Singapore is an international city, so we can't close our doors and keep up uh, foreigners. Eventually, this will be detrimental to uh, Singaporeans. It will... Uh, make less talent available for uh, for our economy and uh, we'll have to strike a balance uh, between allowing foreigners in and putting Singaporeans' interests first. It's not easy to strike that balance. The government will have to see how to achieve it. How satisfied, I mean, it's a very, very close race, 0.34% margin. How satisfied are you with this mandate? And do you think it's enough of a mandate for you to carry out uh, you know, some of your uh, initiatives, policies, and you know, the messages that you have for Singaporeans as well? Well, ours is a first past the post uh, system. I'm happy to be elected as president. Uh, I will do my best in the coming years to uh, deliver on the, the platforms which I have uh, outlined during my uh, campaign. Uh, but I think the issue now is, uh, the election is behind us now. I think we should look forward to see what we can do rather than look backwards um, as to uh, the narrow victory, the votes for the other candidates, uh, and for myself, I anticipate that this will be a subject of much commentary and analysis by political commentators and pundits in the coming days and months. I look forward to reading their views and to see what they make of uh, the elections, but as for myself, it's over. Now the question is, we have to concentrate on the real work, which is what we can do to make Singapore a better place and give Singaporeans a better quality of life. Yes, I think there's uh, one. Sorry. Okay, Ravid and Shaheen. Hello. I'm very full of from the online system. Yeah. Uh, two questions. Uh, firstly, congratulations on Thank the, you. the election. Uh, what is the first thing that you intend to do 
uh, once you get into office. And the second question is, uh, you, uh, how do you intend to remain accessible to the people of Singapore during the election period? You, uh, you embrace the online community and so on. You had, a, you had your Facebook page, your, your Twitters, uh, your own website and so on and so forth. Uh, the uh, president-elect now, and then going on to the president of September. How do you intend to remain accessible to the people of Singapore? And, and I think, and I'm asking this question because I think the people of Singapore want to have uh, access to public figures that they elect to office. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think uh, with regard to what I will do as uh, president, first of all, I would say that uh, the most urgent thing now most immediate thing now which I should do is to try and reach out to all Singaporeans uh, to emphasize the fact that uh, the president works for all citizens and not for any uh, uh, not for people who are affiliated to any particular uh, party the most important in my view is uh, to ensure constant vig to, uh, vigilance to fulfill the president's custodial uh, powers. Uh, I have much experience in this field. There is still a learning curve, but I think that it will be short and not too steep. We have to monitor what is happening in the, in the global economy, particularly in US, Europe, uh, and now Japan, and see what impact this will have for uh, Singapore. Uh, and of course, I think the most useful is to, uh, is to identify various channels to work with government or political parties and civil uh, society. There has been much change in the political landscape in the past uh, few months. I think civil society has also had a strong influence, so we need to work together. Uh, this is not a task that can be implemented once and then put aside, but it's something which requires ongoing care. And with respect to your questions about how to make myself accessible, I intend to uh, reach out to Singaporeans using various uh, uh, platforms, of course, uh, meeting with them at their functions, uh, perhaps arranging uh, some tea sessions for Singaporeans of various groups, uh, you know, to, so that I can continue to see what are their concerns. I must say that I found this campaign uh, extremely insightful because uh, I've been able to meet with Singaporeans uh, from all sectors and across the board uh, in all walks of life, from professional groups, chambers of commerce, to ordinary people in marketplace and uh, hawker centers and they have uh, they look at the same situation but in different ways and the president has to continue to make sure that he's in touch with the people all the time and of course now I think one has to recognize the fact that social media plays a very uh, plays a very important role I uh, made an attempt to reach out to citizens through my social media uh, connections. Uh, I think that has been helpful and uh, this is something which uh, I will continue to do in the coming years. It's an ongoing effort, uh, but uh, I think that it is uh, necessary if the President is to remain in touch with the concerns of Singaporeans, which I intend to do.